scenario. I'm trying to figure out how to keep from getting hurt by certain personality types. My friend, my ex-friend Lonnie was one of them. Little John of the Three Bears was another one. And currently there's someone that I'm dealing with that has this personality type and I just, I just don't know how to deal with it. And it's so hard to explain exactly what is wrong. Um, it's this certain element of telling someone like it is, even if they're not trying to be mean or cruel. They just have to say something, whether or not the only thing that it would achieve is pain or not. In a discussion that I was having with this person, I was trying to tell the person, why can't you just accept me for who I am? And the fact that I like the things that I like, I have the preferences that I have, why can't you just accept that? And I went on to say, you know, I've been... It's only been the past couple years that I didn't feel bad about myself for having the preferences and likes that I have. All the previous years I had was beating myself up over it. I was constantly questioning that. It was going through my mind all the time, in constant question of this since I was, you know, 20 or 18 even. I said, at this point, at this juncture, I don't want to question those things about myself anymore. I've, I've, I've spent most of my life questioning those things. And his response was, well, I guess ignorance is bliss. Now, he didn't say it with any sort of... I almost probably put a little bit of negative ways that I said it. I, I'm trying to see how he said it. Well, I guess ignorance is bliss, was, was his response. Now, if it would have been Little John, he would have went, went... Little John would have went, Well, I guess ignorance is bliss. He would have said it something like that. Lonnie would have probably said something like, um, well, I guess you just want to wallow in your ignorance. But this person I'm talking with, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't have any sort of ways that, that emotionally that he said it, but just the fact that he felt the need to say that. And I told him, why... Why would you say something like that after I just told you that I've questioned this my entire life? You make it sound like I've never questioned it before. And he's like, well, well isn't it true? Ignorance is bliss. And I'm just going, well, this isn't about being ignorant. But I didn't say that. I just, I just was just, I was just like flabbergasted that you just argue it that way. And, I mean, this is just one example that I can give that's, that's, that's very specific on this. You know, maybe I shouldn't feel that way when that gets said. But it, to, to me, it was basically someone telling me, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm reading too much into it. You know, let me know, please. Because I, I just... Maybe I shouldn't... Maybe I need to look at what he says from a different 
perspective somehow. But I can't help but think that what he said was, well, maybe you should question yourself. Isn't that, you know, uh, isn't that, doesn't, wouldn't you take it that way or would you not take it that way? How can I, what kind of mindset can I put on to keep from being hurt by someone with that kind of mindset? Because he doesn't mean it to be mean. He doesn't mean it to be cruel. He just, he, he believes he's saying it as, well, just as a matter of fact, is the, the mindset that he puts on. And so I, I, this kind of personality type, I don't know, I don't know what to do to keep from getting hurt. I'm not trying to play the victim here. I'm not trying to, you know, I don't want to be the victim. I don't want to play that, that card. I don't want, you know, later on he was mentioning, well, doesn't it seem like you're you're trying to play that role of, oh, you're being persecuted all the time? And I'm just like, well, no. There are only very certain personalities that do this to me. Most people don't have this personality. This kind of personality is rare. But when it's there, I don't know what to do. I, I just don't know how to handle it properly in a way that doesn't hurt me. You know, I'm asking for advice in this video. Um, and no, I don't care if you're not a psychiatrist or a psychologist or, or a counselor or a therapist, you know? I just, just as people who watch my videos, is there advice you could give me on what I can do to keep that kind of personality from causing me pain. What can I do? Now some people might just tell me that I'm just overreacting, but I don't know how to not react to that. How could I look at what he said in a way that doesn't suggest that he's telling me that I need to that I need to question again who I am. That I need to go into again questioning something I had questioned my whole life, why I like the things that I like. How can I look at what he said as not meaning that? And I know this is just a singular issue and a singular part of a discussion. But maybe and I'm thinking if, if I can figure out how to get past, if I can figure out a mindset to put on when talking with him that would allow me to get past that, then if I can take that same mindset and apply it to when he says other things, then maybe I won't get hurt. I don't know. Um, my, my initial reaction is to not want to spend time with him anymore, but I don't want to just dump people like that. I don't want to do that to people. I want to figure out if there's a way to not be hurt by someone like that. So if, and if you have, I said, if you've got any advice on this, please let me know, because I don't really, I, I, I really have no idea how to approach the way that he discusses things and the way, the things that he says to me. Another example of him doing something kind of similar to this, we had talked for, I don't know, almost two hours after this incident, and it took him till the next day to apologize, and he did apologize, and he said he was wrong. But like I said the night before we had talked for two hours, and he just he for the life of him he couldn't figure out why there was anything wrong with what he had said, and 
I had him in some of my bears circles and my gainers circles. And there was a picture of a guy that I thought was hot. He's really, really heavy. And um, he had, uh, my friend had made a comment, said, uh, well, I guess he hasn't seen his dick in a long time. And then his next comment was saying that he suddenly thinks of chickens that, farmed chickens that are raised in tiny cages and they get too fat for the cage and their fat sticks out of the cage. And I, you know, was telling him, why would you say something like that in these, uh, that I'm sharing with, with people that's, that, you know, I'm only usually sharing this with people who would like these pictures. And you know, why would you say something like that? Why would you do that? You know, and it just took a lot of talking with him to, you know, get him to realize that that was kind of messed up. And like I said, it was only the next day that he finally apologized and said, oh, that, that he was wrong. So there's this tendency with him to say these things that are cruel, but he doesn't realize that they're cruel. So just, I mean, how, how do I approach this? 